Well, for more on the step one reopening, we are joined live by Von Mayer, Maurizio Bevilacqua. It's always great to speak with you. So uh, I'm guessing there's a, a lot of cheers in your region for, you know, entering into step one. But I can also imagine that there's still uh, a lot of unhappy business owners. Let's talk about the positive. Let's talk about uh, the reopening first. And I'm guessing you're, uh, you're very happy about this. As you noticed, I think the World Happiness Index has just gone off the <laughs> trush throughout the greater Toronto area and Hamilton area. Uh, Jamie, this is a good day. I mean, uh, we've been through this uh, together, actually, for over a year. And uh, perhaps this is probably the most positive uh, interview I've seen. You, you've seen those faces, uh, smiling, happy, joyful, content. Uh, and, and let's pay tribute uh, to the citizens uh, this morning for the incredible discipline uh, that they've demonstrated throughout the pandemic. Uh, these are world-class citizens here in the greater Toronto area and the city of Vaughan. Um, very focused. Uh, I, I just, I am so, so uh, happy about the civility that was demonstrated through throughout the, the pandemic, the endurance of our small business people, the resiliency. And, and not only that, uh, Jamie, when you look at today, today's day is wonderful. Uh, people are are very happy. But when you look down the road as well, you know, we project economic growth uh, to be very high, over 4%. Uh, some people are talking about 6% economic growth. And as you well know, uh, those numbers uh, mean a, a very quick economic uh, recovery. And so uh, I remain very hopeful and optimistic. I'm anchored to hope and optimism, generally speaking. But today, to see those individuals mm -hmm. uh, express uh, so much joy is, is truly a great day. And I want to thank the, the citizens of Vaughan for, for being exceptional citizens and the small business community as well that creates over 225,000 jobs here in the city uh, for being uh, really exemplary uh, business people here. And what do you say to those other small businesses who feel that they've been left behind, especially, you know, when you look at some of those small gyms that can't operate indoors and, you know, hair salons. And, you know, the fact of the matter is the province did not provide specific data that, you know, getting a haircut was the source of outbreaks, yet they are still closed. Uh, these people have been out of work for so long. What, what's the message to those people who just still are struggling to pay their bills because they have no business? Well, uh, first of all, I feel for them. And as you know, I've been advocating uh, for those industries throughout the pandemic. And I've let the premier know how I felt about uh, uh, those businesses. It, it, right now, it's really a process. But look, we, we're heading in the right direction. Uh, step one is, is a step in the right direction. And throughout this pandemic, we've had to be very patient, uh, as you know. Uh, but look, uh, there's hope. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, these businesses need to understand that we're about to turn the corner. And, and we are about to turn the corner, quite frankly, because in an area like uh, the city of Vaughan, uh, over 75% of the people have been vaccinated. And I encourage others to do the same. I think the game plan is the right one. Uh, we have to be cautious. But we have we, we have reasons to be optimistic, and uh, this is a, a, a change in tone. And, uh, and from a substantive point of view, uh, we are seeing improvements. We're seeing mm -hmm. improvements on the vaccination front, on the economic growth front. So there's a, there's a reason to be hopeful. Uh, we are definitely uh, hopeful for many reasons. We've been doing uh, very well, especially in the last couple of months on administering the first shot. Uh, when it comes to uh, uh, nationally, we still have a lot way to go. I wish we had a little bit more time to chat. Uh, Maurizio, thank you so much, as always, uh, for joining us. As always, Jamie, stay safe. All right.